wonderful but there's something to look at so nice about the black Yoshi. Like, I, it, the black they chose is just so, like, it's, velvety almost. It's very, like, vibrant, I think. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting because you don't think of black as being a vibrant color, but I think what helps it is, like, the red, like, on his spines and yeah, his little yeah. back. And then it's, the white shoes color. and the white belly. Color. I respect the choice. Uh, I liked what Nick used to do back in the day, which was just, like, white. rotate every, oh, yeah. every time. I thought that was cool, too. I usually used to see him being white Yoshi because he's bald. And this is going to be uh, the beginning of Winter's Quarters, I believe. I'll check that one more time. But this, this or after? This. This should be the first game of Winter's Quarters Okay. that we're going to be seeing here. Man, Burn was really fun to fight, I got to say. That yeah, was, he's cool. Yeah. And, like, it's fun to watch him, too. Yeah. Know. It's not a character that you feel cheesed playing. At least I never did. Not really, no. Because, like, he's, he just feels really honest, you know? Like, yeah, Yoshi, like, it's weird. I feel like Yoshi, maybe it's just because we're not used to seeing him and there hasn't been some cheesy meta developer. Yeah, and we're just, it's all new. With, like, the weird tongue thing and, like, or whatever. We, we all think of Yoshi as, like, a second-class citizen in PM, you know? <laughs> like, he's good, but, like, he's kind of, like, under the radar good. All right, let's 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 move out of the way. Let's <laughs> get the big boys, you know? Let's get Fox. Let's get Wolf. Let's get Meta Knight. Make way for the real PM stars. <laughs> No, I don't know. Um, it's interesting, because, like, Yoshi has a lot of things that look like they would cheese you out. Like, with the weird egg stuff and the double and the jump cancel. You, you would think that grab, too, but, yeah. like, I don't know. There's something... Sometimes the grab can feel a bit, like, out of the order, but now that... Like, I, I think it's just his dash grab, but it just lasts a while, yeah. so there's not really anything um, But it used to be, like, that. ridiculous. It used to be able oh, to yeah. grab in the air, but they got rid of that. Yeah, in I remember that. Patch. That was so Nah, Bert's pretty fun to watch. He's fun to fight. He's a cool dude. Yeah, Bert's all around. Good, good party SoCal dude. Yeah. I appreciate it. What's happening, Seth? Thank you, sir. How'd you do? Whoa, you're that art guy. Is he that art guy? Is that Raku? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a million years. <laughs> Hi. I'm commentating right now, so I can't really, like, talk, but, like, I want a hug at least. Yeah. You want to commentate with me? <laughs> no, oh, I was like, ready to let him on. No, that's fine. <sighs> so I was zoning out because I was catching up because I'm an idiot, and uh, Red took the first stock. But uh, it doesn't look like it's a huge lead. It just takes oh shit! It just takes one good whack from Yoshi to finish the job. Yeah, I feel like if anybody's gonna be good at breaking double jump armor on Yoshi, it's gotta be Ganondorf. Oh, like, yeah. His, I... All of his hits are just so... Like, you can, like, feel it, too. Oh, dude. Like, you can feel it. The player can feel it like, when it rumbles. Just yeah, like, the character themselves is just in hits oh, yeah, for dude. so long. They're just in shock. Their the bones darkness, are breaking. The, like, the darkness <laughs> is, like, just enveloping them <laughs> yeah. entirely. Seriously. It's, it's a... Ganon's a lethal character to fight. It, it's one of those things where it's Ooh, like, when bad. you fight Ganon, it's like, okay, this matchup should be, you know, 60-40. You know, I should have it. Really but then suddenly he grabs you. Yeah. And then, like, like I was playing, like, as Kirby. And Kirby's not a character that typically gets comboed. But, like, he grabbed me once. And then the next thing I knew, I was at 70. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, I guess I'm about to die now. <laughs> and Red especially, like, even outside of... Gandorf's Ooh, like that was relatively slick. like easy to do grab game. Like once you get the grab, it's pretty easy to like pummel people forever. Red has been but, like, very good at just getting that grab because yeah. like I don't think it's it's not particularly easy as oh, Gandorf no. to get Gandorf's the grab. Oh no, Gandorf's grab range is so bad. It's probably one of the worst things in yeah. the world. Oh my god, you can be like right next to Gandorf and he'll still miss you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you, can sketch. Crouch, you can crouch under his grab as normal characters. But not I think just like squirtle. even outside of like getting like really good at the grab game of Ganondorf, I think Red's just gotten amazing at like teasing people with that back air. Red like, he's been, so good at oh, spacing shit. that stuff. Red has been Red has made Ganondorf look like such a fast character. I think because like underesting like everyone in this game has movement. Like Yoshi's got a lot of cool double jump and wave landing movements as like demonstrated, and then like B reverse like tongue grab and stuff. But like. Red also has a lot of movement on a character that you don't expect to be mobile. Yeah. Like, he's he doesn't have a fast run speed. He has a lot of wind up, like a lot of start up Ooh, on a lot of his and moves. Stuff like that where he mm. like like perfectly falls back and then like goes forward with the fair. Yeah. His spacing, dude. Like I know that's a stupid commentator thing that people always say, but like, oh my god. The spacing was immaculate. Red's, Red's like amazing. Oh at god, that spacing. hurt. That hurt probably to watch. It probably hurt Yoshi a little mm -hmm. bit. But you know what? He's he's doing it. He's fighting he's, he's with his heart. He's a fierce little Dino, dude. He's a fucking raptor. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice fair. It's actually really even, which is kind of scary. And this is still only game one. I like. Yeah. I haven't even noticed. It's gone actually relatively slow. But Ooh, uh, that was close. every moment is so tense because like well, they can was, do so yeah. much damage to each other. Red just has to be very careful 
and he can't get grabbed because I'm pretty sure Yoshi's Ooh, gonna. Oh, that egg! That egg! Oh, oh I thought he was gonna go for the oh down God. smash, TBH. Oh, oh I think he wanted. I think he meant to do a B reverse. Mm, I'll okay, take it. Okay. 53 damage though is pretty good. Yeah. And About this two more hits and it'll be killing percent. Yeah. Ooh, scary. Oh, Didn't, see, yeah, that's so scary though, being that close to the edge. Oh my goodness. As Yoshi. Oh, that was actually a really great grab. <clears throat> Take it. All right. All, all right. right. Yoshi does not have a jump. This is looking bad. Just grab the ledge. Yeah, because all he can do at that point is. Oh, that'll do it. I was going to say grab ledge, but oh, well. It worked. <laughs> yeah. I love his, like, victory pose, too. Oh, Ganondorf's so cool. Ganondorf is, like, the <laughs> Like, I know there's Bowser. I know there's DDD. DDD doesn't even count as a villain. <laughs> Wario DDD barely is counts barely as a villain. DDD's a bully. That's <laughs> all he is. Like, on occasion. He's been the villain once in his series, and he's just there. <laughs> yeah, he usually, like, starts out as, like, a villain of sorts. He just but by the end of the game, he's the homie. He just doesn't like Kirby. Mm. He's jealous of him. Who wouldn't be? He's such a stellar man. Yeah, that one's mine. Mine has the white stain on it. I don't know what caused it, but maybe I bleached my thumb one day thinking it would help. <laughs> I hope not. Fuck. <laughs> that was a very weird option that Yoshi did there, and I wasn't sure how to agree with it. But yeah, Ganon is like the villain in this game. Like, <laughs> he, like his, he doesn't really combo. Ooh, he just look hits at you. these eggs. Oh, my God. I love oh, it. Dude. I love Yoshi's egg. Oh, my God. It's Yoshi's such a egg is a really projectile. cool projectile, I gotta say. It's so unique. Like... So many projectiles you just, like, throw, and, like, obviously they all have more or less, like, different trajectories and, like, properties. But, like, the Yoshi's egg just feels so unique what? among all of them. That's the goal, man. Dude, Jace didn't make it into Amy practice? That's Jace awesome. Dude, no, Jace is too good for Amy's. That's so cool. I know he's been wanting to get there for a while. Yeah, I'm proud of him. But anyway, we're, we're back to this sick match, and... Bart's got like a nice uh -oh. little lead that he's building up here. Uh -oh. Ooh, the head though. You know who I haven't seen at all oh, today? Oh, that, so, that was so weird. That was, yeah, Yoshi. But like using the egg and like falling on top of Ganondorf and then having it break oh, open. Oh, the raw whiz truck. Oh, that was like kind of strange, but like yeah, it Yoshi's, totally worked. Yoshi's uh, side B does not have a hitbox at all in the air. So I'm pretty sure like he might have just done that by accident, but he did get a follow up off of like just landing with the egg. Because I think landing with the egg has is when the hitbox yeah, starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Uh -uh. Oof. He's doing so well. Um, Burn is doing really well, like just placing a lot of eggs to just keep Ganondorf away from where he'd like he wants him to not be, and then he'll just swoop in like just Velociraptor, just, like pterodactyl, grab that ledge, and then just like Ganon can't recover after that. All right, Yoshi does not have a jump. That's gonna be it. It's the move where men are made. Oh, throws an egg, one last egg at him. <laughs> Didn't quite get what he wanted. Whoop. Holy jeez. <laughs> Look at that. He, got, he hit him twice in one grab, and he's like at 30. Now he's at 50. Look at that. Look at that. That was crazy. <laughs> like, Yoshi was just standing on the platform and waiting. And then, like, he obviously wasn't going to be able to recover there, so he faded low to try and avoid it, and then he went for the ledge. Yoshi just dropped platform and just grabbed the ledge. Dude, I'm so happy I'm here seeing this Yoshi, man. I gotta say, I'm into this. I'm into Yoshi. Yeah, I mean, like, we've been gushing all night, but seriously, Bert's it's, Yoshi is just, oh, like, dude, I don't know, man. Just, I feel one like of my favorite things to watch. We're just, I feel like we're gushing on both these guys. Oh, whoa! Oh, yeah, because I love watching Red, too. He's the SoCal classic. Roy, Red, Roy. Red is uh, one of my favorite people, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Yeah, it's funny because, like, when you meet him, and, like, he really does, like, in-game envelop a lot of, uh, like, what Ganondorf is. Like, Jason oh, yeah. feels like Ganondorf when they're playing, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, like, outside of like, the game... Corey has definitely said this. Ganondorf has, like, very, like, movement-based. He's very, like, you know, he's called it Ganon on ice. Um, but, like, Jason, like... When he plays Ganondorf, he just plays with so much hate. Yeah, like and that's so the much, way you like, describe passion, it. Passion, you know, like you can yeah, like, like feel you can it. feel him down throwing just over and over, and then he forward airs you and you die, just like that. Except Yoshi didn't do the dying. Oh man, that was like that was Yoshi's down tilt, right? Yeah, that's gnarly. That happens a lot to Captain Falcon too. Ooh, but all right, that's like pretty good lead but it's a already very kind good of lead, closing out uh oh that was not supposed to be the movie that was not the move he wanted 
Yeah, I mean, he's kind of getting the punishment for it now. Oh, but not too bad. 37%. The little Ooh. stars. Those little stars always get me, dude. Yeah. DDD oh. has that, too. And he's already brought it back. See, that was actually really, like, that's another thing about Red that I really like is that he's really mm. good at keeping his calm. Like, he can make upsets yeah. happen or comebacks, you know? It's interesting. Based, like, like, he, he used like, to, I, I feel like he used to have that problem. I remember him playing with a lot of, like, legitimate anger, not just Ganondorf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but I remember he mentioned something it, like I that. Think. But I think, like, over the, especially over yeah. the last year from when he got PR to where he is now, like... I we, think all, he's we all learn as players. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. When to, when I think he's cool. been become really good at keeping a level head. Like, there's still a lot of PR, not a lot, but like quite a few PR people, I think, that like lose their cool if things get too close. Yeah. But like, I don't Red feel like Red tends ever, to keep ooh. it together. Red's. I don't think Red's got to worry about like you know, he's keeping like right now. He's he's keeping a very level head. Oh, parries the grab. Holy jeez and fucking goddamn! Holy shit! It was crazy. <laughs> That was the hardest read. Ooh, not quite. Oh, no. Oh, he saved him to destroy him. And then he didn't actually destroy him. Red's not looking too hot right now at 150. Whoa. whoa. All right. I guess that's one down. That's one good side to having such a, like, a grab range that's so connected to your body. Oh, no. Okay, so how is Red going to approach this? I can't imagine Ganondorf having too many reliable options. To Ooh, that's going to take it. Whew. So this is... Uh-oh, that's not going to be it. I think he... I don't know if he charged that, but I don't know if that was the right thing to do. I think he could have uh, just... Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Phew. That was a good showing by both players. Some oh crazy gosh. Yoshi shit happened at the end. Sorry. And the beginning. Not your fault. I um <laughs> it's not your fault, I'm terrible at commentary. No no no, it's all good. Guys, I'll it's chill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't know actually who's coming up yet, because I haven't <laughs> been told. But it should be the next winner's quarters match. Looks like we got Ion coming down. We got Ion versus... Let me check. Oh, yeah, you wanted to check bracket, too. Oh, uh, yeah. You, I just do you want to know who you're fighting? Is no, I'm out. I just wanted to see, oh. um, like, how well I did. Yeah. I want to say I went 2-2, two and two, which... Yeah, I guess you from went out uh, at losers round 4. So is that 2-2? Two and two? Yeah. That's not bad. I went even with my first day with Meta Knight. 2. Yeah, that's 2-2. Two and, two. and you had a buy, so... Technically, it's three and two. Oh well, I mean, I didn't earn that one, so yeah, two and two. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's considered. I mean, I don't know. If it's, it's the principle that matters. I fought two and two. That's how, that's how it went. Jose V. This is actually what I. Oh haven't yeah, this seen. is Jose V versus Ion. Yeah, I haven't actually seen Jose at all today. Uh, we saw him in doubles. Bees. Oh, but you weren't commentating doubles. No, Jose go bees. <laughs> Jose go bees. Please trust the bees. Trust in the bees. 